Welcome to the first episode of Gwentology. My name is Klagzy, and today we will be talking about Reddit's most confusing topic, locks. Locks are one of the most confusing aspects of Gwent, and to understand them, we first have to understand how Gwent units work. Gwent units have four major aspects, their name, their tribals, their power, and their text. Locks disable the unit's text. For example, if you lock this reinforced trebuchet, it won't deal one random damage. However, if you lock this ice giant, he will stay at 12 power, even if the weather is cleared, because you have nullified the text that triggers the weakening. Locking a unit does not remove its tags. If you lock this blue stripes commando, it will still get buffed by a blue stripes scout, because the Temeria tag has not been disabled. Locking a unit will remove its spying token. If you lock Cantarella, she will not be instantly killed by Meadow Kuhorn. Some units, like Alba Spearman and Earth Elemental, have deploy abilities that give them shields. If you lock them, the shield goes away. The same goes for resilience as well, removing the resilience. If the resilience get refreshed, like through an adrenaline rush, locking the unit will only toggle the lock off and won't remove the resilience. To remove it, you'd have to lock it again. So, why does a locked Queen's Guard get revived when a Queen's Guard gets played, but a locked Foglet is not revived when a Fog is played? The answer lies in the card text. Looking at Queen's Guard, we can see that it says, Revive all Queen's Guards. The locked Queen's Guard is still a Queen's Guard, and therefore gets revived when a Queen's Guard is played. Now let's look at Foglets. It says, whenever you apply Fog to an opposing row, play this unit from your deck, or resurrect it on that row on your side. Because the Foglet's text is what triggers the revive, locking it will not make it revive. You can also use locks to reveal ambushes, turning them over and disabling their effect. There's a couple of bugs with locks right now when it comes to locking ambushes. One of the main ones is a lock to reveal, not counting as a fifth elf, to pull a Loren. The other one is Dimeridium Shackles sometimes being unable to target ambush units, despite the text saying it can. If you lock a unit buffed by its ability, such as Impair Brigade, it will not return to its base strength. When you lock a unit with a timer, the timer freezes, but it stays at its current value. If the unit then gets unlocked, the timer will resume. So how can you remove a lock? The simplest way is to toggle it off with a lock of your own, but there are other ways as well. Locks are removed when a unit is bounced to your hand or deck, whether through decoy, through pavetta, or through milva. Locks are also removed when a locked unit is revived. Locks are not removed when a unit is reset. Hopefully this video has helped you understand how locks work a little better. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments.